I do believe this that sooner or later life happens to everyone. As you keep growing older and older and older, you're going to see some shit which you don't want to. I think it's very noble and very honest and relevant. And I think the way that we're saying it is very fresh and new mm. and evolved. Hey guys, my name is Shravan Shah, and today I'm going to be having a conversation with the cast and maker of Bawal. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? What's up, Shravan? You've got in the, I mean, the most craziest Bawal energy. Yes, it's Bawal. <laughs> it's Bawal time. Uh, the thing I want to ask you is that after you finish filming with both these talented actors, what is that one thing that you noticed about them that you were like, "Yeah, perfect casting thai." Not just one thing, you know. Far too many things uh, mm -hmm. to list them down here. Uh -huh. uh, I think the movie should talk for itself. Mm -hmm. Is what I would say. But all I can say is, uh, I'm so happy. You know that my gut feeling and my decision, you know, uh, to work with these two awesome people uh, was so bang on. Yeah. And uh, I can't. Wait, you know, I just can't wait for people to watch the two of them and everybody else in the film, uh, what they've done in the film. You know, uh, it's something which is uh, gonna remain very close to my heart for a very, very long time. Perfect, Varun. Uh, every filmmaker, once you do a film, right? Uh, I think every filmmaker, वो छाप छोड़ के जाता है आपसे. What What is that thing that probably you've learned from Nitin? His humility. You yeah, know, honestly, yeah. and the way he treats people around him, the way he gives respect to every technician he works with, mm -hmm. uh, the amount of uh, you know, the amount of uh, effort he puts on his writing, you know, इसलिए तो मतलब ये ऐसे ही नहीं बनते हैं इनके पिक्चर में. There's so much effort, there's so much prep that goes in. That's why he's so sure with his decision. So I think that preparation and his uh, preparation for the simplest things uh, is what I do take from. Uh, generally, I have to say this that every I have said this even the last time. In fact, that every time I see a new film from, and it's actually true for both of you all that every time you all star in a new project, it feels like you all have pushed the envelope. And even with the trailer, when I saw it today, I'm like, damn, those emotional scenes, Kafi mm -hmm. felt it in the heart. Uh, what was for you in the script that you were like, hey, I have to do this, want to do this, and I'm so glad I'm I'm a part of. I think I mean if I'm being completely honest a big 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 part of it was that the script had Nitesh so <laughs> involved in it but I think also what the story was saying and yeah. the way that it was saying it yeah. in fact during our readings Nitesh sir said something very interesting he said that a great piece of cinema is either great or reaches audiences because of what it's saying either that's what's special what it's saying or the way it's saying it Yeah. And I really believe that our film Bawal has both these things. What we're trying to say, I think, is very noble and very honest and relevant. And I think the way that we're saying it is very fresh and new mm. and evolved as well. Nitesh, yeah. yes. uh, so one thing about your films that you know everybody can speak is that they are high on relatability factor. And with, of course, while people are talking about the war factor and all of it, I know there's a lot of Emotions that people are going to talk about, okay, of how to deal with emotions. Uh, is that one of the takeaways that the film is going to have? Yeah, I mean, it's very important for uh, me that uh, the audience takes sides. If the audience is not taking sides, you've lost them. Mm. You know, so that's. I mean, and somewhere we are extremely conscious of making uh, an attempt in that direction. So, the kind of stories I normally choose, mm. the kind of stuff. And the characters we develop along with my writers. Uh, the reason why I feel audience is able to relate is because they have met them somewhere in their life. In yeah. Which is that's exactly the first reaction I heard from Varun when I told him the character of Ajju Faiya. Varun said, "I know many people like these." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what you want to hear uh, from the people, you know. Yeah. And uh, that's what makes the stories and the characters both relatable, you know. And we, we I. The stories also should stem from real life. You know, you have to give them a fresh twist and a fresh perspective so that they look completely unexpected to the viewers. That's what makes it very exciting. Yeah. But uh, the setting, everything, we I want to just keep them very, very relatable. Okay. Uh, this question is to actually to both of you all. Okay, when you're a part of a project like this, uh, of course, an actor draws a lot from their personal experiences, right? How 
important do you all think is it for an actor to have a very high eq so that you can bring that to the table when you are a part of a film like this i think see yeah uh, having a high, high eq is not something which you can just develop or work on mm -hmm. it's some it's life experiences yeah it's what you've seen what's happened to you and uh, i do believe this that sooner or later life happens to everyone for sure it's just going to happen yeah. when you least expect it it's going to happen you can't plan it so you can't plan for that eq to happen as you keep growing older and older and older you're going to see some shit which you don't want to <laughs> and then yeah that eq will build i guess but i will say though through the course of making this film because we saw so much um we learned so much from the stories itself and i think because of the inclusion of um the second world war in in our film i think we were sensitized to a lot of things that we wouldn't have been privy to otherwise in our lives so i think that also was a catalyst in developing our eq in a lot of things i feel perfect but thank you so much guys thank you so much for sharing thank you so much thank all you. the way thank was for bawal uh, looks you. super exciting uh, looking forward to watching this hoping to talk to you all super soon till then this thank one you. is a wrap